welcome back to Bring It To Life with Gail. This week I decided to do Tuesday to Sunday a video on Trash to Treasure and DIY projects that I've been doing. On Sunday it will be the reveal of our office that I've been working on. Um, I removed the carpet, put in new flooring, did some restaining, you name it, we did it. And even build a new piece of furniture we got on Amazon and I will link everything below when that video comes out. But today I wanted to introduce a giveaway week. So every day I will be saying a word. It could be two words, but a word. And write those down, keep track, because at the end of the week I will ask you to send me all of those names and whoever has them right, I will do a drawing out of that bucket and I will be sending you um, a prize. Now, I'm only doing this in the United States. I apologize to all of my subscribers um, in different um, countries but it costs too much to send it international and that doesn't mean I don't appreciate you watching I do with all my heart but that's just how I have to do it this time however make sure that you write those names um, today's word is thrift store and enjoy the video but make sure you hit the subscribe button like and comment and I will see you tomorrow Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, so today we are going to be making those um, photo shelves that I have been talking about and talking about and talking about. So let me show you what I purchased at uh, my home improvement store. So the first thing I did is I bought these 3 8 by 38 little um, dowels. They're square dowels. And these are the blue tips so they I think they were like 50 some cents a piece and for the shelf um, I purchased 3 8 by 3 by 36 craft wood that will be my shelf so and then I purchased these that are craft board 3 8 by 2 by 36 so this will be my shelf this will be my shelf and this will attach to the back and then the little dowel in the front will be the stopper so let me show you how I attach one of them it looks dark I have my lights but okay let me show you real quick how I attach one of them so I went ahead, this one is a little bit bigger. This one is probably uh, like four or five because I wanted a bigger shelf uh, for one of them. So here, as you can tell, I attached the back. When I went to attach my railings, my, my little railings, my nail went right through. So I'm gonna need to buy some finishing nails um, for these shelves. Super easy to assemble. So I'm gonna move all of this here. Oh wait, no, that is the same size. This is the bigger one. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, it is um, by four. So this one would be three eighths by four by 36. The other shelves are a little smaller at three eighths by three by 36. I just wanted one of them to be a little bit wider. I will link the numbers below. And hopefully you can find something like that at your home improvement store. So I'm gonna back up my camera a little bit here. Put some, shine some light on this world. There, oops, there we go. Okay, let's see. And I hope that you can see as much as you can. So what I did is I just went ahead and after I purchased this wood, I wanna make sure you can see. It's not easy this morning, you guys, because <laughs> it's wood, it's big pieces. So yeah, you should be able to see, okay. So I'm going to put these aside over here on my table so you can kind of see where out the space. All right, so here's the board that is 3 8 by 4 by 36. So that will be my bottom shelf. This little railing is going to go in the front. And then this one that's 3 8 by 2 by 36 will be the one in the back that I'm actually going to attach. To the wall. I think I did it like this. Yeah. So the one I'm attaching to the back, 
So I'll be able to put them on the wall and then my picture frame should, uh, the wall should hold the top part and this will slide for the frames. All right, so all I did was I just, it doesn't matter how I'm gonna put these in because either side. So I have my nail gun and I am just going to hold the one side and I'm just gonna go ahead and nail this. I'm gonna make sure that I have my It's not going all the way through in, but I will fix that with my little hammer. Beautiful. And this, guys, takes no time. Oh, no, I ran out of... I ran out of nails, so I'm going to go get some more nails. But you kind of get the concept of the back of it here. So now this will be attached, and then all I'll have to do is put the front in. Super easy, right? Just that this one is not wide, um, thick enough for the nails to go through. So I'll, I'm going to glue it and then put some finishing nails. But for right now, i got to go get some more nail guns. Funny thing is, is you never know what you're going to find when you're missing out on some nails. So these are the wide nails for my a nail gun. And then in my bag, look what I had. Small finishing nails. This is going to make this e even easier. So let's keep going. Um, I did purchase this uh, new Master NEU on Amazon last year I think so so now I'm so, super excited because I could just use my small nails to get everything done so let me see here go like this I'm just gonna put one in real quick I've never used the small nails before so here we wait let me see Oh yeah, this should work. So, hold it tight, Gail. these down on a better surface I'm using my craft table right now so 
I am now going to attach the backs, but I will need to put my larger uh, nails in the gun. So how you do it, you just pop it out and the nails come out. So this one I'm just going to pull out, re redo it, pull the tags off, and here is one shelf ready to go. Here is, and then again, here the wood chipped, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to take the nail out and uh, put some wood putty. And now I just got one more to do. This is the large one. Within like 15 minutes, you guys, you can put this together. It's so easy, especially with a nail done. And then the last one, I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to uh, paint these white, fill in my holes, fix this all up, and I'll show you what it looks like. So excited. I have all the four shelves made. I'm telling you, this is a, just to make these is 15 minutes with the, nail gun but I have all of my shelf and now I'm just gonna paint them a, a snow white paint and I will link everything below and I have the measurements so all of that will be linked below so now I'm just gonna paint these up and then I'll show you when I put them up on my wall I painted 
two of the shelves. I'm going to finish off the other ones, let them dry, do some touch up, and then we will put these shelves on the wall. Cannot wait to see what it's going to look like. So this is the wall that I want to install those photos. I am probably going to end up selling this dresser because we're trying not to have too much of a clutter. But I'm going to go ahead and bring my shelves up and try to arrange this the way I was thinking. So, oh, more work. Let's try this again. One. I'm gonna have my fat head in front. So, so far, not bad at all. I'm going to get the step ladder and finish this and I will show you what it looks like. Finally, the long awaited, talked about many times, photo wall is completed. Um, that up there, if you have any questions, this thing right here, it belonged to my brother, Lee. It was a uh, the round of his first birthday, he received a drum. And that's what was left of it. I'll go closer. And I just attach it to this old board because it was attached to a beam in our basement and I kind of wanted that same look. I didn't clean it. I didn't do nothing to it except attach it to that board. But how stinking cute that is. And here are all my photos of my family and Eric's family. Like I said, I still got photos to put up. Let me all know what y'all think. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share, and I will see you next time.